Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna talk about a sort of common mistake, if you like, or it's something that I tend to suggest to most of my students to at least experiment with. Now, first of all, this video is really gonna be putting a lot of emphasis into the through swing. So if you're the kind of golfer that notices that you don't really get up and through the golf ball as easily as you would like to, and you tend to have more of a tendency to, to get a little bit more sort of stuck behind the golf ball, and you're aware of that, then I think you're making the same mistake in the setup position that I tend to see with, well, students that I meet that either come through that door for lessons or that reach out for help online. Now, what needs to happen for you to have this ability to swing nicely through the golf ball, we need to be able to transfer the weight towards the lead side. We also need to be able to clear the pelvis out of the way. But the key thing is, and the big significant difference is the functionality of the upper part of the lead leg. So what will happen you would swing up towards the top of your backswing, and as you start your downswing, you would sort of shift that pelvis towards the left in a, should we say, a rotational manner. And then as you come in towards the delivery position, the lead leg would start to straighten, but the bigger thing really is the upper part of that leg will start to face towards the target. Now, what we see with most professional golfers is they might take a stance that most amateur golfers have been taught, which is feet that are roughly more perpendicular towards your target line. But what we also see with professional golfers is they create a huge amount of force. And as you create a huge amount of force, what tends to happen is as you're triggering this extension, you tend to see the foot might supinate, so it might start to roll, or it might start to spin out, either pivot through the heel or pivot through the toe. So that's what pros are doing to get the weight off that lead leg and to get that lead leg facing towards the target. But most amateur golfers that I meet generally don't trigger that amount of force. So what tends to happen is they just tend to get stuck on that lead leg. Lead leg just stays too forward facing, hampers all the space, can't release the club through, therefore lending itself to that sort of chicken wing. So all I want you to do is rather than taking the conventional stance and the conventional position, what I would like you to do is just start to flare that lead foot out a little bit, okay? So as I start to flare that lead foot out, what it does, and you can practice this, is it makes life so much easier to get up and through the golf ball. Now, my only little point of reference here is that, and one of the questions that you might ask when you go and practice this is, well, how far can you flare it outwards? And the answer really, again, depends on the backswing position. So what you wanna try and do in the backswing is you always wanna try and make sure that you're turning your shoulders, let's just say 90 degrees. So that's the big thing that we wanna try and get to. And anything that falls too far short of that will, will cause an upset in the sequence in the downswing. So if you sort of feel like, oh yeah, Russ, I've started flaring that foot out massively and it's, I'm getting up and through the ball really nicely, yeah, and I'm really starting to feel these sort of feelings of getting up and through it. But what you're also tending to notice is that all of a sudden it restricts your backswing because your leg can't come across. And that's where you just gotta be careful. So you're just gonna have to experiment a little bit with this foot position to find a happy medium. And it might also, it might just be a bit of the case with the shorter clubs, you might flare it more. Longer clubs, it might naturally turn in a bit more to help you turn more in the backswing. But it's a key thing. And it is, these are the sort of simple tips for students that I meet for online sessions. It's, you know, you talk about rebuilding swings and stuff, it's just not the case. What we tend to do is we tend to take a problem. And again, it might be a stuck chicken wing flipper. And we to create some little solutions and some feelings like putting more weight into that side and getting into it and pushing up, it tends to make just a huge difference. So I'm sure it will for many of you as well. See you guys again really soon.